All right, here we go. Do your thing. I'm Zachary Fowler, and that's Chris Thorne. And this is the 30 Days Survival Challenge, Texas. There's only one rule. If you want to eat, you got to catch and cook it. Yeah. All right. 5.30 in the morning. Time to get up, get going, and get down there into the woods so I'm in position when the turkeys come through. Phew, that's a hike all the way from camp to get down here. Beautiful, look at the light behind me coming up. Probably could have been here a couple minutes earlier. But I don't hear much moving around, so I think I'm doing good. Yeah, I slip into my spot and uh, settle in for a little turkey action. Man, I wish I had time though to time lapse that sunrise, maybe another morning after I've got my turkey. What a beautiful place. Praise God for Texas. I played a waiting game where I waste my time. I let my dreams die young. Cause I misread the signs Signs it might be over Signs I'm not so young I'm not so young No sign of turkeys. I'm gonna go looking for them and work my way back to camp while I look for them. Maybe I'll take a peek down at the river too and just see if there isn't some uh, action going on there. I keep bringing the slingbow with me, hoping that I get that same opportunity as last time with the gar were rising everywhere. I haven't seen that in forever. Was his end. <laughs> Catfish. Look at that. On the biggest hook ever. Look at the size of that hook. The day before, I catch the biggest catfish I ever caught in my life on the tiniest hook that possible. Almost like a fly fishing hook. That thing was so small. And this time, catch the tiniest catfish on the biggest hook. This will make an excellent breakfast.
thank you for this fish. Thank you for Texas. And thank you for coffee. In Jesus' name, amen. Food top. Oh, yeah. Mmm. This is the best way to do catfish. It's just, you just cook it on the coals and just pull off the pieces of meat. Oh, they just come right off of there. Juicy and moist. Mmm. 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 I'm gonna feel like I could do this every day of my life, you know? Just traipse around. Fish. Oh, wait. I, I am kind of doing this right now, every day of my life. But, you know what I mean? It's an interesting thing, you know, at home. I really stink at fishing. I guess if you count it here, this is pretty easy fishing. And we still haven't been super successful, you know, we were successful here and there, but over lots of hours, over 16 days, you know, we've caught a total of uh, four catfish, never managed to land a gar, they keep breaking free. And uh, all the other game. There just isn't that much stuff at my place in Maine. I know there's raccoons because years ago they killed my um, chickens when I had chickens. And I went out and I set a trap the next day. So when they pulled on it, it rattled some cans. I popped two of the 22 and I ran out of bullets and I finished the last one off up a tree with my blowgun. Because they just kept coming in and killing the chickens. So when I get home, I'm going to have to go and get everything together and get another air rifle. There's an air rifle, a Seneca. It's uh, just like the Dragon Claw, but it can't be pumped up. That's why I didn't choose it for this adventure. I would love that because it can shoot the 50 caliber rounds, but it has a smooth bore barrel and shotgun shells. So I can use that for spring and fall turkey hunting. I just, I, I like the air rifle thing. I think it adds like kind of a sporting aspect, even though it's pretty darn powerful and everything. There's a little bit shorter of a range. It's a little bit more, um, you have to know your gun a little bit better. You can't just like, the trajectory isn't as straight and there's more or less air, especially with this one. You know, it's a little bit high on your first shot when it's really full, and you have to do all that work to pump it up 200 and something times, so I think it's like, you really earn your, you earn your keep, like last night when I got that rabbit. So if you're just tuning in, and this is the first episode you watch, check out the playlist below for my channel, where you can watch all of our days. This is the 30 day survival challenge, if you didn't catch that in the intro. <laughs> And you can watch all of our videos from the beginning. And you can go over onto Chris's channel, Drop Forward Survival, and watch his days that have been going along because we're doing this together. Today, I'm eating the fish by myself because there's plenty of food back at camp. And he stayed in bed and I went out hunting. So, I mean, he may have gone up and gone hunting somewhere closer by. I don't know if he's necessarily in bed. But, so I got to take advantage of some of these opportunities that I have here that I don't have at home. I've been thinking about a gopher trap, and I've been thinking about a homemade crawfish trap. But I can do a homemade middle trap at home, but there isn't a crawfish. And since we had a bunch of ours washed down the river, our crawfish traps, and where our keeper trap is finally empty of crawfish, I could really go for another big crawfish feast fried in uh, raccoon fat. So I think I'm going to get on that today and catching the gophers. Wow, that's ambitious. And get back out here and see if I can't get a turkey this evening. I want that turkey. According to Bob Hansler, whose property we're on, at the beginning of this adventure, he told us that uh, the place is jinxed and nobody's gotten a turkey for like years and years. So if I was to get a turkey, I'd be pretty big, uh, Juju or whatever you call it, you know. I say I don't believe in curses, but it's pretty crazy that those turkeys were out there every single evening, and then all of a sudden, gosh, night the night before, I come out to go turkey hunting, and I don't see hiding a hair of them. Turkey for me, turkey for you. I got some turkey in my big brown shoe.
A turkey for me, turkey for you. Let's eat turkey in a big brown shoe. Love to eat the turkey at the table. Oh, I love turkey on Thanksgiving. Oh, there goes some ducks. Oh, man. That's something new. Ever since this rainstorm and that turned into a big pond over here, there appears to be ducks down there. Oh, I need a shotgun. That is one thing you're not just allowed to plink away at here. In Texas, you need a shotgun because you got to shoot them on the wing or you can shoot it on the wing. Good luck me hitting one of these ducks though with a 50 cal air rifle on the wing. <laughs> Uh, whew, good to be back at camp. Past Chris on the way, he's down to go check his traps. Got the whole place to myself. <clears throat> Still have a big old chunk of catfish on here smoking. Probably a... Uh, smoke's protected it pretty well, but it is warm out so flies can get to it, so... It should not be left off of the smoke first person to get up when it starts to warm up should be putting getting the fire going so that when the day warms up the smoke is on there protecting the food from spoiling or it should be cooked but their pots are full of raccoon right now so that's not possible I'm gonna fire up a fire and get this puppy protected use my exotech survival zippo basically I don't uh, think it's even on the market yet I like this thing All right guys, I got myself some sticks, some nightshade vine, I believe, a little bit of wire. I'm gonna make a primitive crawdad trap, because right now all we have is like 10 are left in our keeper trap. We haven't needed them, but it's a good change of pace frying them up, especially in the raccoon fat is so good. Right, it's done. We got a little hole at this end for them to go in. Gets a lot bigger around this way. There's some holes that some smaller ones might be able to slip through. Eh, I don't know. Maybe not. <clears throat> got my little baggie for my bait. Piece of sun-dried raccoon liver. Toss that in there, see if that'll do the job. All right, let's try it. Good luck, buddy. Ah, <laughs> I remembered it when I was up there, but I forgot the most important thing. It's made out of wood. It's gonna float. I need a rock. <laughs> All right, let's see if this works. Maybe just two. 
Uh oh, will it fit? Oh, it just fit. All right, here we go. Do your thing. There we go, four rocks did it. If you wanna know how well this trap really worked, you're gonna to have to head over to my friends at Be Alive here on YouTube and check out the video, Primitive Catch and Cook Crawfish in a Cactus Hot Pocket. Link in the description and a little bubble for their channel at the end. Back out here for turkey. Oh man. And yesterday I posted up a quarter of a mile further down and didn't get anything. But they came like through here, like way off from where I couldn't see them. And then they came down behind here. So I'm gonna sneak forward, see if I can't scope anything. And then maybe post up almost just right here. And then that way, if they go this way or that way, I can get them. Nothing stirring just yet. Keep thinking I hear some like grunting like a pig. I decided to let this guy go. I'd leave the raccoons up to Chris. I wanted boar deer or turkey, something big, something good. Did you see the raccoon? Where? It was right under the feeder as you walked up to it. You know, it ran off when you were like five, ten feet away. Yeah, I kept hearing a hog like over there somewhere and I was like, didn't want to, I was hoping he'd just come down, but he never did. I think I missed. Got another rabbit. All right, back to camp, processed up the rabbit. We got him in the stew pot for tomorrow with the raccoon. And the ever stew rabbit, that'll be good for breakfast. We'll be able to pull it off the top without it being all mixed in and eat it separately. And uh, we're processing up the last of the catfish. Look at how much catfish fill in the pot and I'm just getting the last little bit off of the head here there's a big chunk of meat right behind the eye and then we will be able to put our dinner on it is late there we go the last of the meats in there that's a good sized pot of meat cover it with some wadobo this has been smoking for what, two days, Chris? Yeah, two. Two days. Two days of smoking. This is gonna make some awesome catfish stew. Oh, yeah. Bedtime. Bedtime. So nice. What a long day. 5.30 till, I don't know what it is, like, 11 o'clock now. I uh, ran into Chris while I was out there hunting. I kept hearing a boar. Had that raccoon turn that down. And uh, we went down to the waterfront. Nothing doing there. Rebaited our hooks. And on our way back up, I saw a rabbit and took care of that with the uh, 50 cal Dragon Claw air rifle. Does a good job on rabbits. And, uh, Came back, put that on for tomorrow's breakfast, and stewed up the rest of the catfish. Man, that turned out good. Quick, quick, simple, 
and now all of that t took till like 11 o'clock. I am beat. Day 17. Oh, day 17 over and out. I will uh, see you guys tomorrow. Fowler out. And don't forget to check out the bonus episode, Primitive Catch and Cook Crawfish in a Cactus Hot Pocket, over on the YouTube channel, Be Alive. Links in the description, or hit their little bubble channel icon right there.